Peace be upon you all and welcome to the channel. This series of videos will be a tutorial uh, uh, to help people with drawing a plasmid map with three restriction endonucleases, also known as a triple digest. A uh, brief dis disclaimer before we start. Uh, this video is intended to help students with their molecular biology assignments with regards to how to draw a plasmid map. Where I used to study, people always had problems with plasmid mapping in terms of what, a, what, a, what an endonuclease is, what are, where are the restriction cut sites, and eventually drawing the entire map with the three, with the three enzymes highlighted on, uh, on the plasmid. So I decided to create this tutorial to help people who are struggling with that so it will lack any details regarding plasmid transformation or any form of transfection. Uh, also, I'd like to say that this, uh, these videos are created by a human being, so I'm prone, prone to making mistakes. So if I make a mistake inadvertently during uh, these tutorials, please let me know so I can correct myself. Also, if anyone thinks of, if anyone has a better methodology for undertaking this plasmid map, please comment uh, below so that everyone benefits from the knowledge. Now. Uh, these videos will be divided into different sections, so each video will cover a particular step in creating a plasmid map. The only reason I decided to split the videos is to avoid having people uh, <coughs> to endure long videos. Instead, they could simply watch the part that they have a problem with or that interests them. Now, let's get started. We'll start with a brief, brief introduction regarding restriction endonucleases and their substrates, uh, palindromes. Now, if you happen to forget what an endonuclease is, it's very easy to derive the function from the name. Most enzymes tend to have the suffix "-ase", which means that it's an enzyme, and the root of the word tends to be the substrate at, uh, onto which the enzyme works or catalyzes the reaction. So in this case, the root is the nuclei part. So that's short for nucleic acid, which is either DNA or RNA. So a nuclease is an enzyme that digests uh, DNA or RNA. Then you have this prefix here, endo, which means within. That means that it, it works on the nucleic acid or digests the strands from within the strand, as opposed to the from the outer from outside the strand. I'll draw an example here for you, just to show the difference between an endo and an exo nuclease. So let's draw. A DNA double strand here with the base pairs like so. So let's say this is the beginning of the strand, five prime, three prime, and it this is the end, so three prime, five prime. Now you have two options with regards to nucleases. There is also an, a third type of nuclease, the XC nuclease, but we will not cover that in the video. So you either have an enzyme that works at the edge of the strand, or an enzyme that works from the center, from within the strand. Now, the enzyme that works from the outer portions, so it's it, it starts digestion from here and moves all the way to the left, or starts from here and moves all the way to the right. These uh, enzymes are known as exonucleases. And the prefix exo means outer or outside. 
However, if an enzyme starts digestion from here and moves to the outer portions, either right or left, oops, this enzyme is known as an endonuclease. And that's how restriction enzymes work. They start digestion or they start cutting from within from within the strand rather than from the outer portions of the strand. Now specifically restriction restriction endonucleases are a group of enzymes of bacterial origin that are used by humans in different processes such as plasmid transformation for example. What's unique about restriction endonucleases is their substrate or the sequence of DNA that they target specifically. So we'll switch on to this part here and that's called a palindrome or a palindromic sequence. That's basically the substrate for restriction endonucleases. The word palindrome means a word that's read the same way if you write it from left to right and right to left. In genetics, it means a sequence that's read the same way. It's, if you read it from left to right, it's the same as reading it from right to left. And I'll give you an example of a sequence for an enzyme known as, uh, what was it, NHE1. So here is the five prime N. Uh, let's see how did it go. You have a G, C, T, A, then a G, then a C. So that's the leading strand sequence. Now let's see how it looks like on the lagging strand. I'll change the color just to show the difference in strands. So the G, a C, sorry, gets a G, G gets a C, A gets a T, T gets an A, C gets a G, and G gets a C. Now if you notice, G, C, T, A, G, C, G, C, T, A, G, C. This is called a palindrome, and different uh, restriction endonucleases have different palindromic sequences. This is just an example for one enzyme called NHE1. I'll just write it here in case anyone wishes to look it up. <coughs> now, there are two ways at which restriction endonucleases cut the sequence. They can either cut it, uh, let's choose blue for this example, they can either cut it bluntly, like that, or, uh, I'll only choose green, they cut it to form something called a sticky end. So I'll just draw a diagram to represent this a bit clearer. So here you have a full uh, double-stranded DNA, for example. If you have a blunt cutter, the DNA strand would look like this because it's been cut bluntly. That's why it's called the blunt cutter. But if you have an enzyme that cuts as a, uh, to form sticky ends, it will look something like this. <coughs> so it's not directly cut, it's cut at an angle, like so. And these are known as the sticky ends. The reason they're called sticky ends it's because it's easier to ligate any sequence of your choice here. Hence why they're called sticky ends. 
and that's basically what a palindrome is and that's a brief introduction regarding restriction endonucleases so uh, we'll end the video here and then the next video we will start with actually drawing a plasmid map so i'll see you at the next video thank you very much for your time be safe and take care